You ever wish you had a crystal ball or a magic wand you can wave that would just give you a list of hot prospects for your business? Ones that will probably convert really well when you're on the sales call? Well, you don't need one of those because High Level has a feature called the prospecting tool, which is pretty freaking amazing. So let's get into it and show you how this can help your business to avoid you from having to send out hundreds and thousands of emails to a list that you scraped off the internet and then you're sending a generic message. How many of those people really reply back to you anyways? The percentage is super low, but if you're sending them a specific report about the health of their businesses and pointing out some flaws and holes, they might actually reply to you more than just a generic message. So let's check out this new prospecting tool. Within your high-level account, you need to be in the agency view. When you're in the agency view, again, just by clicking on up here and clicking the agency view, now you're gonna go to right here, it says prospecting. And now you're in prospecting, this is gonna list out all the prospects that you looked up. If you haven't done it yet, it'll be blank screen. And let's get into how you're actually gonna do this. So first off, if you click on the question mark up here and then click on visit our help center, it's going to pull up the help center just like this and you can search for prospecting. I already have it pulled up, so right here. This is the prospecting guide. So if you wanna look through this and get some more information that I may not have covered on this video, feel free to go through here and learn more about it. But I'm gonna show you and demonstrate it for you right here. Back in high level, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on add a prospect. Now, if you have a specific business in mind that you already know, you're like, I would love to have them as a client, or you're just searching on Google Maps, you can do that. But if not, you can just do this. You can say Cairo, Practors. Let's do this for example, chiropractors near me. And now when you do this, it's going to search and give you a list of chiropractors in the area where you're at, which you can also just search chiropractors in Atlanta, chiropractors in New York. You can put in specific cities, specific states, specific locations and pull them up. Okay, so here's a list of chiropractors in the area. Now, if you just scroll through here, pick one that you want. Let's go ahead and let's just start with the top one on here, Back Pro Chiropractic. So then from here, it'll pre-fill in the information, show you the location. If you check this, it, say you already have a point of contact from them, you can put it on here. This just makes it easier in the future to send the report to them, but you don't have to fill this out. So we'll uncheck this and let's just click on save prospect. So what it's doing now is high level is going, is generating this report. So what is this report going to pull up? This report is looking to see if you're new to my channel, that'd be greatly appreciated if you can hit that thumbs up button, that like button, you can hit that subscribe, join my channel so you can get all the new videos when I send them out that's gonna be on high level, automations, agency, tech, all that stuff. Or if you're already a subscriber to my channel, thank you, I appreciate it. And if you get this th thumbs up, that would be awesome as well. All right, let's get back into the video. First off, how many listings do they have on the internet? By a listing, what that means is where is their business located? Do they have a Facebook page? Do they have a Google My Business? Are they on Yelp? Because the more places they're out in the business, the more areas or places that potential customers can find their business. Then the other thing it's going to look at, some other things, is it's going to pull up, actually let's just go here and scroll down and see. So it's gonna show how many listings there are, their average Google reviews, it's gonna pull up some reviews as well so you can see reviews about them. And one thing to note, this, you're limited to 20 uh, locations a day, 20 searches a day which if you're having these 20 target reports and you're sending these out to, to them specifically saying, hey, I can help you with this, this, and this, I see holes in your business, how we can improve it, 20 should be plenty for you. And so I'm just gonna tell you more information about it. But now let's go back and see if this is actually done yet. Boom, there we go, it's done. First thing that we see here is shows location, details about the business. Now if we go to the online health score, this is gonna show how many listings are not found and how many listings are found. So they have 11 listings, this is pretty good. Now let's scroll down here and Here's the listings, gives a percentage here, business name. This is really talking about how, how accurate the listings are across all platforms. Because Google and the internet browsers, what they like is consistency across all the different platforms. So as long as Yelp is same name on Yelp as it is on Facebook page and Google My Business, places like that, it's gonna give them a better score. It's better, easier for people to find the business as well. So right here it just says, oops, looks like it looks like you are listed correctly on a few of the websites, whereas the information seems incorrect on many of the other platforms. A bad listing would affect your online presence and you may seem invisible to your potential customers. They may be searching on Yelp and they see something that's not back pro chiropractic. Maybe they see chiropractic back, or maybe the business typed it in wrong on Yelp. So then in that case, now the client, that potential customer may not know that's the same business that they found on Google and so they might not actually go with that business. That's what this is talking about. Now this here, it's still searching, so it's gonna pull up some of the reviews. We'll come back to this in a little bit. 
But if we scroll down here, we can see all the online listings that they're located. So they're on Google Places, they're on Facebook, they're on Bing, they're on Yelp. See Yelp here, they are, they're named a little bit different than what they are on their other places. So that's gonna affect them slightly. MapQuest, well, who really uses MapQuest anymore? Is that even still a thing? <laughs> I guess so. Uh, okay, so Chamber of Commerce, Merchant Circle, some of these I don't even know about, but the more places that the business is located, one, Customers are going to be able to find them better. Then two, it's just also going to get better SEO for their business, better search, better rankings in Google because they're listed in more places. So the places where there's no match or the scan failed. So we have this here. Now, as we're going back here, the reviews haven't come up yet, so we'll come back to this in a minute. So with all these listings, and that's a lot here, to be able to add to all these, it can take some time. But High Level has another awesome feature that you can connect with and it's called Yext. So you can offer Yext to your prospects, to the business and help them get onto all these other platforms. It'll help with the congruency and consistency, making sure the name, address, phone number, all of that is the same across all these platforms and it'll actually just put them on the platforms as well. So if you come over to the reselling here, then this is where Yext is. So you can come here and you click on how does it work. It's gonna take you and show you more information about Yext and how it works. But this is where you can offer it to your clients who are on your high level account and you can upsell it and you can make profit on that. So that's pretty freaking awesome. But that's what Yext is. That's gonna help them get onto all these other platforms, congruency, consistency, so that their business is more places on the internet. All right, so now let's get back to the prospecting tool and let's go back to this business. And as you can see here, this is where you have, if you have a point of contact for the, the customer, you can put them in here, general info, Here's the information starting to be pulled in if you got it from Google Maps. And you can put in their social profiles as well. Just more just for information for you. Here's where you can add notes. So you can add any notes as you're gathering this information before you reach out to them or after you reach out to them, whatever you want to do. Now if you click on the show report here, this is going to bring back to the report. So if we scroll down here, ah, we see now they have the review summary has been completed. So here it says 100%. Fantastic, you have a good reputation among your customers, but it's not over yet. Be on top of reviews and enhance your online reputation to gain potential customers. Let's work together to enhance your rating game. Okay, so this shows they have a total of nine reviews, four analyzed, four positive, zero negative. So that's why I got the 100%. But one improvement here is they only have nine reviews. That's not that many. So if you can help them get a lot more reviews, that is one selling point that you have here, just by showing them the minimum reviews they have. Other one is the listings and the consistency. So if we scroll down here on the reputation, actually they don't have any Google My Business reviews. They have zero. All the reviews are from Facebook. So it shows them right here. So this is the big one. If you can get them on the Google My Business and get a lot of reviews that way by taking say their customer list that they already have, creating them a high level account, uploading it and sending out a review request to all of those. Send out a message to them. Hey, you've been a customer with us. Just wanted to get a quick review from you. Take two minutes of your time. Here's a link. We greatly appreciate it if you can review us. So that's a way you can help them get reviews on their business. We went over the online listings. Now let's come back up to the top here and let's click on share report. So here it's gonna give you a link and you can copy the link and this is where you can send it to them in an email. This is where now as you actually send out an email to them, such as the cold email, but it's not so generic. Now you're actually providing this report. You're saying, here's some holes I see in your business. I would love to help you out. I can help you out fix these holes. Here's some solutions for it. Even if they don't get on a call with you, at least you're providing them good value and maybe in the future they'll remember you and they'll come back. So it's always about providing value to the businesses, not just trying to sell them. You always wanna provide value first and then that gives a lot better chance that they'll actually wanna work with you. All right, so if we click on the open link here, it's gonna pull up this report. Now this is something you can send, as I said, write in an email to them. Text them, call them, or on the call with them, however you wanna do it send them this. And this is the report they'll be able to actually look through themselves and keep it for themselves. This also has your contact information based on your high level account, which you have in there. So they can easily contact you, get back to you. They can say this for themselves. So this is a great report that you can send out to your prospect. So now let's hop back in here and let's take a look at another one that I have. Let's see this one. As you can see here, we got the review summary. So we see how many reviews this business has. 139 total reviews. They got 61 positive. They got five negative. So the really cool thing about this is now if we scroll down, we can see there's some on Google My Business. There's some on Facebook. You can see how many of each stars, recommend or don't recommend. But also if you scroll down here, it's going to give you examples of negative reviews. So then this is where you can actually take 
these and you can look at some of their negative reviews and you can put it into your email or when you call them, call them and talk to them, you can see if there's any commonalities and what the negative reviews are and show them how you can help them improve their business and fix some of these holes that may be from these reviews. Then you scroll down here, you also have examples of positive reviews. So it gives you both positive and negative which is a really cool feature that you can just take these reviews and even throw them in and say, hey, I was looking at your reviews. Here's some things that are common. Let's go ahead and get these fixed. I can help you out with that to help improve your business. And another really cool feature that High Level will be adding to the prospecting tool. Now it's not here yet, but it's gonna be the ability to take this prospect and convert it into a sub account. So I'm guessing there's probably gonna be a button up here, something like, like that that says create sub account. And that way you can just take the prospect that you've already talked to on the phone, you've done the prospecting for, you've presented to them, you've, they're ready to sign up with you. You can get them launched that much quicker by just creating it into a sub account. Now this is currently what High Level's prospecting tool is looking for and pulling for these websites, for these businesses but they've already said that they're adding more features in the future. So things such as does the prospect's website have all the necessary contact information that you need to contact the business? The phone number on there, on their website, is it a textable number that, such as using a service such as Twilio? Do they have a form on their website that you can fill out? So they're gonna be adding a lot of other things to the report that you can really have a powerhouse report to approach your prospects on. This is just what they have for now. So look out for more things coming in the future. This is already a really good report, but it's gonna be an amazing report when they add more features later on. So that's a prospecting tool. Go out, start using it. Great way to not just send out cold generic emails to businesses, but actually send out specific crafted messages that show them weaknesses they have in their business and how you can help them and you can improve and you can help them improve their business. Use that and let me know how it works. Let me know how many prospects you close from this and just the response you, rate you get back from them as you're reaching out to them.